Alright, in this ROS2 tutorial, I will go over ROS components, which are used to load nodes at runtime. I will go over runtime composition with PubSub and server client examples, compile time composition, runtime composition with dlopen, composition using launch files, and special component operations like unloading and remapping. So in ROS1, this concept was called ROS nodelets, um, but here in ROS2, it's called components. If you're new to my channel, I teach OpenCV, Computer Vision, Python, C++, Git, ROS2, SOLIDWORKS, Mechanical Design, and I have a GitHub that goes along with it. So subscribe to learn more. So we could take a look at the components types by typing in ROS2 component uh, types here. So these are all the type of components that are available. Uh, you can see here we have the Action Tutorial CPP, we have the ones that we were using previously. We have these compositions here, which we'll use throughout this tutorial and some demo nodes. But basically these are all of the uh, different things we can use. So for runtime composition with PubSub, we're gonna go ahead and run this command here. So ROS2 run RCL CPP components, component container. So if I run this, um, this, will start our, this will start our container. And if I run our component list here, you're going to see component manager. Okay, so this is what is starting up when I have that running. And now we go ahead and start our talker and listener components. So the syntax for that is ROS2 component load, the name of our um, component. So here it's called component manager. And then we have composition composition talker and then we have composition listener so if i go ahead and copy both of these and if i run that it's going to start both the talker and listener so you can see the talker and listener is happening simultaneously here up in this terminal so it's saying i heard and publishing okay so if i go ahead and run the list again the ros2 component list we're going to see now under component manager, we have the talker and listener. Okay, so we now we see that usually instead of having to build um, two things starting up using the concept of components, we could just start up a node like this. Now with runtime composition with server and clients, we're gonna do something similar. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clear this to start off fresh. So we're gonna go ahead and start our component manager again using this command ROS to run RCL CPP components, component container. So this will start off our component manager. And then we're gonna run these two commands to start our server and client as very similar syntax as a talker and listener. So here you can see that it says low library found class and you can see uh, it's up and running now incoming result got results so that's what we are expecting okay so we're just going to cancel that out and then now we have the compile time composition so we go ahead and use the ros to run composition manual composition so if i go ahead and run this you're going to see that this does everything it has the listener and talker as well as a server and client. So this combines everything. So you can see inside here, this is the source code for the manual composition that we just ran. So this, you can see this is calling our talker here. It adds the node. We have our listener, it adds the node. It has our server here, it adds the node and the client, it adds the node. So this exec here is what we've defined here as single thread executor. And this will, here we run exec spin and this will run everything at once. So this is the main file that we were actually running to make this happen. And we can also take a look at the listener one that we used earlier. So it's very similar structure. Um, here we create a subscription. We have a listener node and then it's just a basic, um, you have a register node here that starts up the listener. So this is a general structure of the composition which we used 
uh, previously. And you could just imagine the talker, server, and client will follow the same structure. Okay, so that was for uh, compile time composition. Now we're going to look at runtime composition using DL open. So here we use the .so or shared object files, which are dynamically linked during runtime to create our composition without using the ROS2 component load method. So the syntax for this is this long line here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it here so you can see better. But it says ROS2 run composition, DL open composition. And we have the ROS2 package prefix composition. And the lib we're using is a lib, lib talker component.so. So notice here we're using a .so file instead. And then similarly for the listener, we also have another .so. So this is just another way to start off our components without using the load command. Instead, we're using a .so. So you can see once we run this, it has the same behavior, publishing, and I heard, hello world. Okay, so next up, we're going to check out using the launch file. So uh, we're going to have another series later on that goes into details about the launch file. Uh, but for now, we'll just take it for granted. And we're going to run the launch file, which will re pretty much replicate the commands that we're writing. Um, but everything is stored inside the launch file. But here we have a talker and listener uh, up and running. Okay. So now let's take a look at how to unload components. So we're going to run this to start our component manager here. So ROS to run RCL components, component container. And then we're going to start our talker and listener as we did before. So this starts it up. And you can see it's up and running. We've loaded the two and it's publishing and subscribing. So now if we want to unload it, we could just run ROS to component unload component manager one and two, and then this should halt um, the process from continuing. So we can also remap container name and namespace. So what we're going to do here is run this command. It's called ROS2 run RCL CPP components component container, and our ROS args is going to be dash R, the node is going to call my container, dash R, the namespace is NS. So if we run this in one node, or in one terminal, and then we do ROS2 component list, we're going to see that here we have something new, which is uh, our own namespace, and our no name is called my container. So this is how you could remap container names and namespaces of your choosing. OK, in my next video, I'm going to talk about how to monitor parameter change. So go check that out. If you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.